Okay, so question eight is one of these using your knowledge of chemistry questions. Benzene, cyclohexene, and cyclohexane are cyclic hydrocarbons with six carbon atoms. Each hydrocarbon takes part in a wide variety of chemical reactions. Using your knowledge of chemistry, discuss the reactions of these hydrocarbons. So I've just pulled out here, these are the content statements. Okay. So basically what you're trying to do is to explain the differences between your, an alkene, an alkane, and an aromatic. And the alkane you probably want to take first. And this is more of a case of saying it doesn't do much. So the only thing really that you know about alkanes in terms of how they potentially are going to work is by using your free radical substitution. And that really is higher anyway. But you could say that this is a, a possible uh, possible reaction set. Where you want to focus most of your attention has got to be the alkenes and the aromatics. And you want to talk about the differences that you have here in terms of having an aromatic system. So what you want to have is a conversation in terms of reactions where you have a full double bond here. And that, that double bond, therefore, allows you to have basically a whole pile of potentially uh, electrophilic additions. And you absolutely need to know that we get electrophilic -philic substitutions in the aromatics. And I honestly would expect you to be able to do basically your your attack, pulling out your, oh, sorry, that's gone a little bit to more the, not, uh, not exactly a, um, a benzene ring, uh, delocalized ring, and then obviously losing your, oh, sorry, with your hydrogen, let's put the hydrogen there, um, and then your hydrogen being pulled off re-establishing your, your ring and being left with your substitution. So I expect you to do a basic substitution and I would expect you to maybe name uh, these ones here, you know, your nitronation, your sulfonation and your alkylation and halogenation. So both of these, this basics and then kind of a, couple, a nice couple of examples from this. In terms of reactions, you may want to talk about the fact that this is going to resist most reactions because of the stability created by this delocalized ring. Um, but it is only three marks, but they're expecting you to talk about the reactions. So I don't want you to go in this kind of thing just talking about benzene. Like you don't want to talk about a benzene ring. It's got to always link back to the reaction. So if you talk about this, the fact that you have a delocalized ring, you need to talk about that in terms of it stabilizing and therefore preventing other reactions that might have occurred with the normal uh, double single bonds which you have in the alkenes. Okay. Um, and as far as this one is concerned with the electrophilic, um, you could talk about Markovnikov, but what you'd have to remember is if you have this one. Here you actually have a symmetrical um, hydrocarbon, even with the double bond in here. So, so Markovnikov is not going to have any impact in this one. Okay, um, so please don't talk about that too much. Um, it would be nice to do the cyclic ion intermediate. You know, you could spend ages on here. Basically, is what I'm saying. So, as I say, content here. Have a look through it. Make sure you're happy with it, um, and then you just try and give as good an answer as you can, but consider planning out a response before